some salt on my show. The Lord rebuke me. Bro, what he talk about? Can you see all me? I'm, no, you're going to have to hold it up. It's OK when it's time. Yeah, I just can, I can see up to Jay Whitehead. Oh, Lord. What a hoot. They announced the arrest of four contract employees. These, ain't nothing, ain't nothing really trifling going on in the world right now. <laughs> it's not enough. It's, it's mostly trifling shit. It's mostly trifling shit. It's, on it's, like, it's like, it's like clean trifling shit. Huh? It's like kind of clean trifling shit. <gasps> We're gonna me. see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Are right, you ready? Yes, sir. I'm not discerning. Correct yourself. The salt hit the ground tonight around about 12 o'clock. What? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. This uh. nigga a warlock. He over here trying to cast fucking spells on me and shit. Okay. Are we ready? You ready? See. Uh. Um, yeah, I gotta keep your head on the shrill too. Let me hit the channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap news. Trap news, boy, nigga. Trap news. Welcome back to Trap News. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy Money Bag Mafia, bitch. You know that pussy ain't worth no sh no shark back. Order the tilapia, ho. That letter came out your way. You couldn't get a skr skr. <laughs> you sound like Gucci Man. <laughs> bitch, you know what's going on. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, you already know, it's a very, uh, the, the politics is heating up, and it's not in a good way. So, you know, after the Democratic National Convention, that went really well. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, I don't, I don't know how I feel about how they were kind of, like, making it so urban, or, like... Trying to cater to niggas? Yeah, like, it was real, it was real, like, pandering a little Buck bit. Buck dancing? Yeah, but I feel like... <laughs> It was a little bit buck dashes. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like, okay, I guess they had to do that to try to, like, appeal to a younger, you know, Gen Z, you got to keep them, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, keep them, uh, occupied. Hypnotized. Yeah, with some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bullshit, um, I don't know if you've seen Hulk Hogan. He asked drunk Republicans if they wanted him to body slam Kamala Harris. I don't understand why people don't understand that. Hulk Hogan been racist. Whenever a white man used the word brother to <laughs> black people, that is a racist white man. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And that bandana with them little... Man, that man been racist, man. Yeah. They got that Yosemite sound mustache. That's a slave on him. <laughs> come on, bro. Any white man that mustache come down like this on the side, that nigga overseer. For Rip sure. his shirt up right before he whoops some slaves. <laughs> Just real shit. Not rip his shirt up right before he yeah. whoops some slaves. <laughs> We got a clip. Let's take a look. Oh, my God. Crazy. You want me to throw more beers out? You want me to body slam somebody? You want me to body slam Kamala Harris? I said you want me to body slam Kamala Harris? You want me to drop the leg on Kamala? Why, wow, that's the only thing you repeat it twice. Right. Indian? Is she Indian? <laughs> okay, I like it. Ow. I'm going to get heat for that one, brother. Anyways, I just feel like, why do people keep caring so much that she got Indian in her? Like, it's not that serious. He really, and then he made another stereotypical remark of, of indige, indigenous people. What? Go ahead, because I'm just, it's just, it's just, white people amaze me, man. You know, just not to be rude, because I know we got a lot, a lot of white uh, subscribers. The racist white people. Yeah, race, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's racist white people. It's not all white We're people. We're all racist, well, right, racist white people. Go ahead, I was gonna say something. I ain't gonna say it. Go say I'm it. gonna say it. Say it. What <laughs> is your fucking homeland? Where right. you come from? <laughs> right, you really stole this bitch. Don't do that. Why would you say that? They did. Anyways. Okay, so from? moving on. Um, Barack and Obama, Barack and Obama, Lord have mercy. I'm reading well, my I would tell them to go back today, but they but we don't know. Go ahead. You don't know where they came from? Mm-mm. Sure don't. You're right, at least we got a homeland. Go ahead. At least we got somewhere to go when you tell us to. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Okay, but anyways, Barack um, Obama, he definitely had a very, like, fiery speech at the DNC, too. Let's take a look. The truth is Donald Trump sees power as nothing more than it means to his ends. 
He wants the middle class to pay the price for another huge tax cut that would mostly help him and his rich friends. He killed a bipartisan immigration deal written in part by one of the most conservative Republicans in Congress that would have helped secure our southern border because he thought trying to actually solve the problem would hurt his campaign. He doesn't do not yeah, boo. Man, boo your ass, man. Get your ass boo. out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get your ass out. Why you man? Fuck, nigga. Obama look like one of them nigglet dogs I'll tear from the hood. It's your bitch. You love nigglets? Don't do that. Don't disrespect our first black president man, like that. Get the fuck that. out of here with that shit, man. What? Anyway. They boo Obama. This shit real around here. Yeah, That's savagery. Crazy. Before like, boo, they can tell us all oh, you're the president of Obama. Obama did um, respond with, don't boo, go out and vote. He said, don't boo, go out and vote. Are you going to vote? Oh, you. Yes, I am. You can't vote. Yeah. I forgot my bad. I'm voting for Kanye. Kanye ain't running again this year? No. Right. Anyways, um, and Kamala closed out the DNC with a very forceful speech and promised to be a president for all Americans. Cap, I don't trust no fucking body. Do we got a video? Run the bullshit. We ain't got a video? No, we right, got cool, no video. All right, cool, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish you, though. But I feel like Kamala would do us better than Trump. Anyway, what's up next? <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know if you've seen, but unfortunately, this is crazy. The Breonna Taylor... No. See, if you wasn't in it. My either. bad, son. Yeah, I got this. So, um, judges ruled that Breonna Taylor's boyfriend actually caused her death instead of the police officers. And he dismisses some charges against the ex-officers as well. The federal judge um, has thrown out major felony charges against two former Louisville officers accused of falsifying a warrant that led to the death of Breonna Taylor. A third former officer charged in the federal warrant case pled guilty to a conspiracy charge and is expected to testify against the other two officers. And then there was a lawsuit filed against Breonna Taylor's boyfriend by the Louisville Metro what? Police An officer that he shot during the 2020 raid on her apartment has been dis that has been dismissed as at the request of both sides, according to court records. So they was actually <clears throat> trying to sue this man to say that it was his fault for them killing Breonna Taylor because they falsified a warrant, a search warrant. And I think that's just that's just ridiculous. Sound about white, boy. No, for sure. That's crazy. So wait, basically they like, yeah, nigga, we'll drop shit on our end because remember what you did back in God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's come what, on now, yeah. make it. Yeah, we go. Nobody we gonna drop it, and we gonna drop it because we actually about to charge you with the death. That's so you gonna crazy, take matter of fact, bro. you gonna take this charge, and we'll we'll lessen that. Like they act like they that's doing you a favor, you know but the they also and all them judges and shit. It's all, all connected. They all work together. Absolutely, man. absolutely. Especially when you get to the to the feds. <laughs> Like, that's ridiculous. They all living that's out for each crazy. other. crazy. Killed that girl. Y'all busting up gun blades and smoked her, and it's her boyfriend. After they it, it, um, were accused of falsifying a warrant, they never had no reason to even be, be there that in the first place. It's y'all fault. Yeah, y'all just went nigga hunting. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it was. But anyway, speaking of nigga hunting. That's the first time I felt the black woman in you when you said that. It was more <laughs> black than white when you just said that. Go ahead. I don't have no fucking white. Yeah. Anyways... <laughs> Speaking of nigga moments, let's send it over to Chris for a Chris 3 lesson. Set it off. Set it off. Bitch, you going to jail. Thank you, Bree and Moneybag, for bringing it over to me. We finna go international with this, and we finna get into these politics. First off, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He was going to run under the Independent Party. And you know, the Independent Party, that's where if you don't want to vote Republican, you don't want to vote Democrat. There's somebody on the independent side for you to run, you know what I'm saying, for you to vote for. And I've been following the independent party for a long time since Ross Perot, you know what I mean? You got to have some money to be a president. You heard that name, Ross Perot. Only reason I remember that motherfucking name because he was a billionaire or something like that. That's why I know Ross Perot. You see how that? Now, Robert F. Kennedy, I know his daddy. So he jumped out of his race. Let's just say if people were going to vote for Robert F. Kennedy on the independent side, and then he decides to drop out of the race, that'd be cool. But he endorsed... Trump. So if you endorse Trump, so you're saying that all my people that was voting for me over here should just come on over here. And that's cool. Now let's just take a look at y'all. Since Robert F. Kennedy and Trump have a relationship, what's that relationship looking like? It's looking like they support each other, right? So I say what both of y'all just get in the drop top and ride down through Dallas, Texas and let the Secret Service do the goddamn security on it. How about that? 
That's how I feel about that part, you know what I mean? Me and Robert F. Kennedy went to the same college. We went to the Electoral College together, and he got kicked out. So I'm just letting you know, if you don't know who the Electoral College is, those are the people that pick presidents. <laughs> Set it off. Set it off. Moving right along, we going out to North Korea. Now look. I think right now the world needs to take a look at what's going on. We just saw the whole Olympics. We saw the basketball with the Olympics. You saw basketball players from all around the world. LeBron James, Steph Curry, you know what I mean? You saw everybody from all over the world, all these countries. We're focusing on the wrong basketball players. Dennis Rodman is who we're supposed to be focusing on. You know why? Because Dennis Rodman is the only basketball player that I know that got a real relationship with Kim Jong-un. You hear me? Kim Jong-un over in North Korea. And if you don't think they got a real relationship, nigga, Kim jong Young daughter was named by Dennis Rodman. You know a man got to believe in you if he let you name his daughter after what he, you believe, after what he believe you think it's supposed to be right. What did he name her? Like did he Denisha? Huh? Jue. Oh, Jue. Okay, okay. I thought it was Denisha. I thought that he had Dennis in it too. Okay. Jue. And that's got to mean something noble. You know what I mean? So shout out to them. But anyway, North Korea has been sending off um, drone exercises. They've been doing drone exercises with suicide drones showing you how they work. You know what I mean? And... That prompted South Korea to do something because South Korea like, oh shit, North, North Korea tripping again. Let me call the United States. <laughs> and here come the United States and brought another carrier group over here. You know, I was in the United States Navy, so I was on an aircraft carrier, the USS Enterprise. Hey, I'm not talking about Star Trek. I'm talking about the real USS Enterprise with Tom Cruise on it, damn it. You know, I was on that carrier group, but the United States sent a carrier group over there because when you send a carrier group there, you basically send the presence of the military there, you know, and it's a nuclear carrier. So anybody hitting a nuclear carrier, you're going to think twice about that. But I want to take this time to just analyze something. It seems like North Korea has a deeper relationship with black people than we think. Right. Because last time I checked, there was a deserter. What was his name? Um, his last name was King. What's his first name? Travis. Travis King. Travis King was in the United States Army and went AWOL, deserter status. You know, I went, I went AWOL too. But deserter status means you go AWOL for more than 30 days. He left from South Korea and went into North Korea. You feel me? Do you know how? And he didn't get on no plane. He walked. That motherfucker. They say he sea walked across that mother like they not like us. They not like us. Straight in there. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as he got over there, they was like a goddamn American. They was about to shoot. And then he opened up his... Units, United States uniform, and they had a Dennis Rodman jersey on. They said, bring him over here. Get him over here. They did like Scorpion, like, oh, get over here. <laughs> Set it off. Set it off, man. Look, moving right along, man. We, we into the military, so let's just stay into it. Israel. I just saw this on the news last night and today, because I've been waiting. I think this stems from Israel versus Hezbollah, I guess. That's too much cloudiness to talk about this. What's going on right now is Israel is getting into it now with Lebanon. That's the country right next to Israel. And Lebanon is apparently um, has forces of Iranian forces there that are sending over rockets and drone planes too into Israel. They say they sent about 300 um, rockets over. But Israel sent 100 rockets over. Israel sent 100 rockets over and said, well, we're making sure y'all don't try to do nothing to us. And that's when Hezbollah said, well, we're going to send 300, goddammit. it. So they're going rocket for rocket out that bitch. Every day, they're going rocket for rocket. Right now, same situation. When you're dealing with Israel, Israel has to call more backup now. This is where the United States comes in. And the United States just brought two airstrike carrier groups over there. So it's a lot of ammunition going on, man. So I just want y'all to just, you know, be careful, you know what I mean? Because my cousin is in the Navy, and I don't want nothing to happen to my cousin. That's why I went AWOL. You know, I don't know about everybody else. I went AWOL from it. If you don't know what AWOL means, that means you just leave them. Because I was in the military, and I couldn't understand how when you want to take leave, you have to ask for permission to leave, you know what I mean? I asked the people, can I take leave? They said, the only leave you could take is Christmas leave and summer leave. But I looked into it, and I saw FNTA, FINTA. I said, well, I'm going to take Finn to leave. They were like, well, what's Finn to leave? I said, whether you give it to me or not, bitch, I'm Finn to leave. Fuck it, you ain't asking y'all for nothing. So I went AWOL. My uncle had counsel, nigga. Shit. You know, that's what I did, you know. But I don't pertain that forever. I don't tell everybody to do that. So that's what's going on with the United States right now in Israel. If y'all don't know, you can't just say the United States needs to mind their business. Because obviously the United States business is getting in other people's business too. I just want everybody to be safe. Moving right along to a lighter note, we're going to Chicago. God, damn, that's what happened? <laughs> Boy, I thought we were going to go into a Bible study or something. Chicago, y'all got to, 
If I see one more crowd running in Chicago and don't know what the hell going on, I'm looking at a concert in Chicago, sweetie. I was finna call a sawweetie. Must have been a white woman that wrote this shit here. Ain't nobody named no damn sawweetie. Y'all can't look, the next motherfucker that mispronounced sweetie and Kamala, I'm gonna beat your ass. The next month, the next one called Com the next one called Kamala Carmelo, I'm gonna beat your ass. Do you hear me? We don't we don't do that over here now. But anyway, I was looking at the saw sweetie concert. She was beautiful. All of a sudden, people start running. I said, why are people running from, these, from this beautiful woman? They must like seeing ugly people perform, you know what I mean? Then I looked a little closer, and I saw what happened. Keep, I think we got a little footage on there. Hey. 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 Why is they? From the front. Hold on. Stop it. Damn. Fake Gucci. Fake Gucci purse. Is there... Fake coach purse. Purse so fake, don't even say coach. Just got a picture of Deion Sanders. <laughs> Man, bogus ass. Look at that, everybody gone. Ain't nothing in the crowd now. Nothing but two flaming hot, two condoms, and a, and a piece of weed. I can't wait to go back to Chicago. That look like one of my cousins out there, man. But that's what's going on, man, you know what I mean? Shout out to Chicago, they doing their thing, man. My car still got impounded from the DNC convention that I went up there seeing last week. All right, last but not least, we got one more thing happening. I hate to be the movie spoiler alert guy, but there's a new movie out, Wolverine and Deadpool. Breaking headlines everywhere. I saw it on bootleg, but when I saw it, I saw Blade in there. If you don't know who Blade is, bitch, you going to jail. Blade is the black superhero that you thought was just a regular vampire movie, and we got to stop doing that. Blade is a Marvel hero, just like Wolverine, just like Deadpool, you feel me? And they Marvel heroes give us our props. Don't give us our props because we black. Every time there's a black superhero, y'all act like we can't get our props, you feel me? Mother try to act like Blade was a vampire movie. We've seen too many vampire movies. I don't even get scared no more. Matter of fact, if I seen a real vampire, I wouldn't even get scared because I've seen so many movies. Let a vampire jump out on me like, ha! I'll be like, hold on. Don't bite me and kill me. Bite me and turn me into one of you because I can come out at night. I do comedy shows, you know what I mean? But luckily, the Deadpool, I have to, I have to put this in real totality right here. There would be no Marvel films if it wasn't for Wesley Snipes doing the Blade film in the first place, you feel me? I didn't say superhero films, I said Marvel films. When they did that, that was the first time Marvel knew that you could put real people into these movies and do a movie like that. So I think that needs some props. And shout out to Ryan Reynolds, man, because I saw Ryan Reynolds say, that's the Marvel daddy. Blade, I got to do a movie with him, just like I did with Wolverine. Man, that is so honorable. Shout out to Wesley Snipes, man. I love Wesley Snipes, man, because I saw Wesley Snipes do one of, produce one of my favorite DVD, favorite documentaries by a man named John Henry Clark. He's a master teacher. The documentary is called A Mighty Walk. And A Mighty Walk is a very good documentary, like I say, about John Henry Clark, and it's about black people all over the world, man, and our history in this world. I think y'all could take a look at it. But this has been our section of Christory. Glad y'all came to see us. We have a nice set here. Um, behind me is a nice background. We've got a nice production team out here. We've got a nice cast. Everything nice, man. I love this. Set it off. And why you ain't reposting this? Repost it. That's my time. I'm gone. Thank you. Set it off. You know my grandma pregnant again. Yeah, yeah. And they found the deal though with the real skin on it, bro. I think it's my granddaddy's skin. We still on? Uh, <laughs> Put it down. Do I go through? You was a junkie. Anyways, thank you, Chris, for that Chris 3 lesson. We got to give a huge shout out to um, young Hemin. I want to say his name right. Hemin Beckel or Be Bekel. Hemin Bekel. He is Times 2024 Kid of the Year. So Hemin created a soap that could one day prevent and help could one day prevent help treating um, skin cancer. No, nah, they gonna smoke his ass. Why? They gonna smoke your Why? ass. <laughs> My boy, I would, I would have been selling that shit under the table. You should have came to Atlanta, got there, had two five soaps. Cause when they find out about, <laughs> all right. So the 15 year old black kid uh, has been 15. mixing up potions mm -hmm. since he was three years old. He's a young scientist in the making. He would leave them under his bed overnight to see what would happen. My mama would have whooped my ass had I did some shit like that. Left some a potion under the bed. No, for no. See, my mama. That's why black parents. Y'all need to. We need to let our kids experiment more. Cause a black mama would have never let you be in the room yeah, with the dope clothes. With anyways, 
He will lead him under his bed overnight to see what would happen, and he received a chemistry set for his sixth birthday. Initially, he thought he could make an unlimited amount of energy for the world. Oh, damn, yeah, see, he trying to really... That's smoke is that. Yeah, okay. Him and one... <laughs> be safe. Him and Boy, one, the safe. young scientist challenge at his high school, Woodson High School, if we shouldn't say that. We don't need to tell him what high school he goes to. Woodson High School no, in don't Fairfax tell County. No, don't tell him. We can't help him. No, we need to know where he is so we can protect y'all at all times, because but, okay. but you fucking with their money. You yeah. fucking with the church money. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they doing for real. Stay dangerous, twin. Yeah, speaking of money, shout out to Deion Sanders because he surprised the Colorado football players with bank accounts. Um, Prime actually partnered with Colorado Buffalo's NIL collective called 5430 Alliance and the Elevation Credit Union. And they opened up bank accounts for the children of eight players Damn. on the school's football team. Yep, so let's give it up for that. Yeah, man, that real. That good That's shit. Sweet. Yeah, he started each account with 2121. Like 21, 21. Two, yeah, 2121. He started with 2,121. Why which could it have been 21,000? Because, come on now. Yeah. It was a couple kids. Yeah. He did, he did. He started them off with, that's a nice lump sum. That ain't shit. Your mama took you to Kroger and you opened up your first savings account with $50 in there. And you talking about why it couldn't be 20,000. No, nah, it was $21 in that motherfucker. <laughs> 2121. 21. <laughs> Um, but he chose 21, 21 because it's significant to the number he wore throughout his Hall of Fame career. His Hall of Fame career. I might go to that nigga homecoming, but I know it's going to be something. It going to be lit. Just as long as you pull out or wear a condom. I will not, okay? Go yes. ahead. Um, oh, we had a clip for my bad. We had a clip for uh, We had a clip. Let's take a look. Travis J, get dog, Chidozy, hey, uh, Zay, Gus. Anybody else got anything on the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, these people got kids on the way. And a child is not a mistake. A child is an opportunity to mature you, grow you, advance you, and give you some skills that you guys gonna come? All right, bring it to the We were blessed. I mean, truly blessed. And this is unbelievable. That's Fifty four thirty Alliance. They have something to tell you that we've been working on. And I don't know if some of you seen the tweet I put out uh, last week. I said I need to partner with a bank. Coach Prime put out that call, and Elevations Credit Union responded. Coach Prime asked us to step up and to join him today in get, in opening up accounts for the children of some of the student athletes that he just appreciate so much. Today we're starting you all out with $2,121 because that's Coach Prime. I think that's dope. I, that I, you know what? I really appreciate Dion for staying 10 toes down. Yeah, he's teaching them black boys how to be, you know, providers and fathers for their children. <laughs> I like that. Oh, because he ain't got no toes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That went over my head real quick. <laughs> no, that one I was talking about. I was really... Yeah, whatever. I really appreciate Dion for staying eight toes down. Ain't no problem. That fucked up. Why would you say that? You said it's it. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> speaking of niggas saying crazy shit, Uncle Luke came out and he said that since all these females winning in rap, he want his reparations. Don't get your pussy popping on the handstand ass on so that bullshit, nigga. You ain't made a big pop ass since goddamn 91. And then you ain't the first nigga to invent that shit anyways. Like, my grandma used to play this song, and it was, a, like, about her pussy getting ate. How'd it go? I don't remember, but it was an old-ass song. I know she was talking about getting her pussy ate. And they, they've been talking about sex and coochie rap and all that way before Uncle Luke. Thank you for that. We really wanted to know that your grandma used to listen to a song about her getting a pussy ate. It's songs. I'm just saying it's music that's that old. No, nah, it ain't Uncle Luke old, like that type of, you know what I'm saying? But it's the same Toodle thing. Bell. It ain't that, it ain't that All type. that is is just Florida music. That's not him talking about, Hold on, he's Luke. talking about he wants reparations for people being able to talk freely about their sexuality, about fucking and sucking, he like coochie that? rap. Yeah, he's talking about coochie rap. 
They got a video for that? Yeah, let's take a look. I need a check from Ice Spice. I need a check oh, from Sexy Red. This nigga All look like a guy from Megan Thee Stallion. From Super Mario. Anybody that's running around shaking that nigga with the harmonica in the mouth and that What was it? <laughs> it's on some What would they call it, on Super Mario? Right now, I'm sorry. Huh? The females are winning. Who was you? <laughs> no, the They're doing everything nigga, that man. I did. I'm still waiting for these girls to send me a fucking check. I need a check from Ice Spice. Come on now. Who turned her ass around. And, and drop it in like it's hot and doo doo brownie. Doo doo brownie. I need to check from her. A bitch shaking her check ass, you did not invent it. Ah, that red, my friend. My man Stan. So, shouts out to Stan. And you don't want no money Stan from Sexy Red because she comes That's my like brother. what? That's his record company. All the girls, Megan Thee Stallion, anybody that's running around shaking their ass. Where you walking about, that, Luke? Uh, put some steps dick in for the day. On the record. Y'all need to send me a check. He looked like he, he took send his Send me a check. Off. Just stop by with the check and say, thank you, Uncle Luke, for allowing us. This nigga need a breath going before to every court, word. Allowing us to be able to say <laughs> what we're saying on the records. And we're whooping these men <laughs> right now. Because we're doing our thing. his old ass down somewhere. That's going to go viral. <laughs> man, pay Uncle Luke, man. Fuck it. No, we're not paying Uncle Luke for shit. Fuck it, the world. You up. exploited women, so now you want to reparations off the women who exploit in themselves? That's what a pimp is. <laughs> That's what a pimp do, goddammit. That's called pimping. He just ain't getting no work. You know what? Pimps should get royalties. No, they should not. Yes, if you a whole, you done, he done put you through all this, you done moved on, now your life doing good, and you got a good job, you should pay your pimp for the rest of your life. No. Bro, no. he had to put so, you no, that's that. like, but okay, if it was his host specifically, these were never his hoes. These are like, that's like saying a pimp should get reparations from OnlyFans bitches. No, that, that he never knew. That's what he's saying. He never knew these people. He didn't raise these people. He didn't groom or pimp these hoes. Pay Uncle Luke, man. That's that's Fuck what Uncle I'm Luke. standing on that. Pay Uncle no, Luke, sit man. Your, take your old ass to sleep. Pay Uncle Luke, okay? man. Go get your nap, big dog. Put your bra on. Damn, and man. lay it down. You really hate black men, it's given. No, I don't. <laughs> yes. It's not as easy. <laughs> very, very uh, demasculating. Very demure, okay? He, he literally talking shit. Very demasculating. About ex he's, he already made his millions off exploiting black women. Now he want to exploit some more. Yeah, y'all making money now. And Let them make you, that money. This is what I'm saying. This is how them hoes try to run off and don't need their oh, pimp no more. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bitch, you got all your connects from me pimping you. Now you want to take on the connect by yourself. Come on now. That's why, nigga, that why they invented gorilla pimping. Pimping is stupid anyways. Pimping is stupid? Yes. To get a bitch to sell something that belonged to her and you get You're money for right. it, that's stupid? That's stupid as fuck. <laughs> I said it. Yes. You got to be stupid. You was born with that coochie. Not that's like you having a job getting paid and you don't even got to be there. That's stupid. No, it's not stupid for the pimp. That's all it's that stupid matter. for the On to the next door. Anyways, um, Ryan Reynolds celebrates Deadpool and Wolverine co-star Wesley Snipes and calls for more Blade. So, you know, Wesley Snipes was Blade. So he basically is saying he wants there to be more. We um, got to have another Blade, man. Yeah, I would like that. We need more black superheroes anyway. Like, why ain't never been a black superman? It can't Superman? be Wesley no more, though. Wesley done got down. Boy, that nigga done dried up like goddamn prune. That nigga like... <laughs> I haven't seen Wesley Snipes. I don't know what he look like, but Jeez. he might because black don't crack. Boy. He might look good still. I ain't seen him in a minute. Black might don't crack, but black smoke crack. Listen, Listen. Wesley, <laughs> he ain't. I wonder who they would get. Who you think they'd get the, my boy, Ildis Elba. Yeah. Blade. Ooh, he could be like, uh, no, he needs to be like black Superman. No. Nah. Or like a black. Well, why would he never have no black Spider-Man? Cool. Huh? We ain't never had a black Spider-Man. Because niggas scared of spiders. You know damn well we ain't got that. <laughs> Niggas hate spiders. What the fuck? What the fuck? I always thought Spider-Man was stupid anyway because it ain't nothing but like, all you could do is crawl. You just be talking sometimes. Spider-Man like, is amazing. All he can do is like, do fly, like he go from, fly. he not strong, he's he strong as fuck. As fuck. No, he, I ain't never seen him do shit strong. Man, what the, who is your favorite superhero? I say Wolverine. On to the next story, man. Wolverine ain't got no special power. That nigga stronger fuck, he flick out them little uh, things in. And the same thing you just said Spider-Man did. <laughs> but he can whoop your ass with them blades. Spider-Man can't do nothing but fly. He's just a glorified roach. My favorite superhero is Pootie Tang. <laughs> <laughs> it's the belt. 
with that goddamn belt. He can whip anybody's ass with that goddamn belt. <laughs> What's my name? Okay, anyways. Side out Uh Stupid. This, this, oh, you was just talking about this phase. You know, it, it went viral over the probably last two weeks. Um, very mindful, very cutesy, very demure. It was it coined by this TikTok star, Jules LeBron. And he went like viral on TikTok, obviously, and all over social media, like even on Twitter. But many celebs have taken to social media to use the popular phrase. And since then, a business person named Jefferson Bates swooped in and trademarked the phrase. And then... Um, posted it on social media. So now the TikTok star who actually was getting all this bread off of the money was about to make merch off of the sands and everything. Can't even do Can't it. Can't even do it because Jeffrey swooped in and purchased the shit. That's what you get for making that dumb ass shit. No, that's what you get for not doing your handling your business. That shit was. Soon as that shit got that over 100,000 views, you were supposed to trademark it. You were supposed to trademark it because that done happened before. I seen a bitch get so mad with another bitch for fucking her nigga that she trademarked that bitch name. What? Mm hmm. I'm sorry. What? What? She trademarked another bitch name. Her real name? No, her like entertainer name. What was her entertainer name? I ain't gonna say it. Say it. No. This trap news, you scared? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga scared. <laughs> it's some old shit. I forgot what the name was originally, but she trademarked it and the bitch couldn't use it no more. And then was all on live popping shit. Crazy. Damn. You gotta handle your business. Got it to. happens every day. Got to. Um, that's ridiculous. So let's just go ahead and over to Justin Whitehead. Where Justin we got Whitehead. Damn ridiculous news. Oh my bad. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. We got damn ridiculous. We got damn ridiculous. Appreciate that bag and breathe. On today's episode of We Got Damn Ridiculous, we are in Queens, New York, where this lady thought she won $43 million and the casino said instead she won a goddamn steak dinner and $2.25. Now, this story may seem familiar to some of you because it happened a while ago, but it's circulating in the news again because they finally reached a judgment. For those of you who don't know what the fuck is going on, I will read it to you because we don't have a clip today. Katrina Book captured national attention last year when she played a sphinx slot machine at Resorts World Casino in Queens, New York, and it appeared as though she had won $43 million, which would, have been, which would have been the largest jackpot ever won on the U.S. slots history. She excitedly snapped herself in with the screen, believing it would change her life forever. I bet she fucking did. You tell me I won $43 million, I might pull my fucking phone out too. Shit, I might pull my goddamn clothes off and go to... Nigga, $43 million and then you offer me a goddamn steak dinner? Anyway, but when Bookman came to collect her prize, the casino worker told her she had to actually won a goddamn thing <laughs> and offered her a motherfucking complimentary steak dinner and $2.25. Where the fuck the two twenty-five dollars come from is what I want to know. As if the steak dinner wasn't already a goddamn insult to injury. You gonna put $2.25 motherfucking cents on the bitch? Why well, I'd have snatched every goddamn machine out of that casino, pissed on them, spit on them, or something. They wouldn't work no more after I left out of that bitch. And there wouldn't be no more goddamn state left in there. Cause, man. Anyway, Bookman's lawyer said she did not accept either the dinner or $2.25. Now, I'm still trying to figure out where the 220 I think the 225 might have been all she had put in that machine. Because if it was a, you know, they putting coins in that bitch, she had probably sat there about... Depending on what the fucking corn was, she, she had probably been there about a good 10, 15 minutes. But anyway, yeah. it wasn't enough to walk away with no fucking $43 million. She know she ain't put that much goddamn in that damn shit. And at the time, Resorts World spokesman Dan Bank apologized and told CNN the casino personnel were able to determine that the figure displayed on the penny slot was a result of an obvious malfunction. Ain't that a bitch? A fact later confirmed by the New York State Gaming Commission. The New York State Gaming Commission said, in August, that the machine displayed a, di a disclaimer stating, malfunction voids all pays and plays. Which means, bitch, if we tell you you want something, you ain't want a goddamn thing. You can come over here and get this damn steak with the mashed potato or uh, whatever your side may be, rice, what have you, but uh, you won't be walking away with this bitch with no $43 million. And if you act up, we got somebody back here that's gonna tote your ass up out of here and leave the steak on the table. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what the fuck it was. I'm telling you, it probably was a sad bear steak. Cause you know, I ain't never really just hung around no casino, but I know the food in that bitch gotta be garbage. Cause I'm about to go to eat anyway. You go in there to lose all your fucking money, smoke them cigarettes, and, and drink. <laughs> they tell you the drinks are free, but you sitting there paying for the goddamn drinks. All you look anyway. I don't, that, I, don't I don't go. That's I, I. Ripka said, you can't claim a machine is broken because you want it to be broken. 
Does that mean it wasn't expected? Does it mean it wasn't maintained? Rick was told CNN money. And if so, does that mean that the people that played before Bookman had zero chances of winning? Ripka also said that he asked the World Resorts World Casino to explain how the machine malfunctioned, but the company did not offer him anything. Well, that's more than what they offered Charlie, because uh, that goddamn steak them, that 225 ain't shit. Complaint alleges that Resorts World Casino was negligent and did not adequately maintain the lottery equipment. It also possessed that Bookman suffered mental anguish as a result of the incident and she sustained a significant monetary setback because she lost the chance and or opportunity to win on the machine. Now, uh, Katrina, I don't know if they got country sayings up there in Queens, you know, but there's one down here in the South that says, do not count your chickens before your egg hatch. That means, bitch, do not count your money before you get your chick. Uh, and do not plan your lottery winners before you get it. When you know damn well you ain't put but two, two and a quarter in the goddamn machine, and 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 you ain't want, you ain't earned no four to three million dollars. Matter of fact, you are a goddamn dickless for thinking you won them four to three million dollars. I wish I was the casino owner. I'd have kicked your ass up out of there like they used to do Jerry on Tom and Jerry. Get your silly ass up out of here, bitch. And I want to offer you no motherfucking state dinner. That has been my episode of Goddamn Dickers for today. Back at you, bag and Thank you, Justin, for that goddamn ridiculous news. So, Twin, you know, it's we ain't did the weather in a minute. I feel like, what's the weather giving? It's giving, like, top down season. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. giving, like, you know, ride on Sunday with your lady season. It's giving, but you know It's what? giving Benadryl. No, it's not. It's not it's no pilot. Time. This is around about the time, too. The weather get changed a little bit. Fuck you up. No, fuck you up. That's it's that. not fucking me up. That's because you got on that booger sugar. Um, I think, but you know what's crazy? So you ain't scared to tell the world about my addiction, but then you ain't, you ain't gonna talk about <laughs> shouting now. That's crazy. And I have you know, I don't do powder, okay? You ain't on that powder? I'm nope. just fine. I do old drugs, like PCP. Like, I like to, I like to be strong when I get high. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. Um, I like to feel You know what I realized, though, that this whole summer went by, I ain't seen not one lightning bug. Damn! Remember lightning bugs? You you ain't just come up with that. You've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. I thought about that. I ain't seen no lightning bugs. I ain't gang. seen a lightning bug. I ain't seen no lightning bug. Like when you I used to catch them all the time. What happened to all the lightning bugs? Are they extinct? We gotta do an investigation. They done joined the LBGTQ community. <laughs> they, why would they? They would be they glowing light, even more. Because they lighting up midtown right now. <laughs> <laughs> Light up the night. Light up the darkness. <laughs> um, you just fucked me up with that. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. That's your whole childhood. Mm-hmm. And it used Let me to be... take the motherfucker, put him on your ear, make earring. Yeah, that's what Sunday said. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sunday said she used to do that. Um, but anyways, I don't know if you've seen the Fulton County Sheriff Office announced the arrest of four contract employees at Fulton County. All four were charged with supplying various, it was four women, they were charged with supplying various forms of contraband, including cell phones, cigarettes, um, and more to inmates, like food and other things like that. In addition to the contraband charges, accusations included sending explicit photos mm. and videos to inmates and engaging in sexual activity with Ooh. an inmate. Why would you send them evidence of the bullshit that you're doing like that? I don't know. All four ladies have been fired and are due in court. Hey, that shit lucrative, though. That shit, them niggas be spending a lot of money to get that shit up in there, man, so... They probably making full time. Oh, that was a hustle. Yeah, yeah, they ain't doing it for the hell of it because they like them niggas. They gotta, I thought they was doing it because they was fucking with the niggas. Man, you got it. I yeah. always wonder, like, why would you jeopardize your job for a nigga in jail? Them but, niggas paying hell of money. You probably get a goddamn, I heard the cell phone about $5,000. Five, right? Hell yeah. You broke a cell phone in there, but them niggas probably give you 7500 Crazy. 10000 That's a lot of money. How the fuck they getting that money? Huh? I don't know. Okay, now we ain't gonna talk about it on camera. I don't, about I don't give a damn. I ain't in there. Shit. They won't even we need to talk about them. I'm tired of my cousin calling my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, How they get it in there is the question. That's what I'm saying. But mm-hmm. anyways, the ATL man was running for his life on foot and then got on a scooter. Did you see that video? Yeah, I seen that. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Stop! I'm going to tase you! Oh, shit! 
You seen it? It was stupid. But I think Blake the Great is out there in the streets, and I think he gonna pull up on bro. The nigga who was running? Yeah. He got out? Yeah. Blake pulling up on him. <laughs> That's, a, that's how official we is. We get exclusive. Exclusive, exclusive. shit. All right, Blitz. Shout out to Blake the Great on the street getting the exclusive. Hey, listen, man. Appreciate y'all money bag and breeze. It's Blake the Great, and we out here in the streets once again. We out here in Oakland City, and I'm geeked the fuck up. You know what time it is. Listen, man. Today, I'm on site with my man, man. You know that's right. Mr. Getaway from the police. Mr. Crash the car. Skirt. Mr. Hop out and start running. <laughs> Mr. Come back on the scooter. What's going on, big brother? Come here, man. Man, the people want to know, man, what the hell you were doing? What the hell happened? How did you end up crashing the car, hopping out, taking off running, and getting on the scooter with? Hey, man. Man, get out of the way. Man, pull, what are you doing, man? Go ahead on, man. Go ahead on with all that, man. What? Man, this real trap news right here, man. Go ahead, tell me what happened. Man, hey, man, I'm leaving the scene. I just got there, pulled up on a nigga at Ed Famine Dollar, sir. The nigga had two bags on the scooter. I ain't know, I ain't know nothing about the goddamn whole red situation. But me and the nigga had on the same outfit. I thought the police seen that shit. Get so what? So, 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 wait, 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 wait. See, we in the real trap right now, y'all can see. We in the hood, in the middle of Oakland City. So you telling me you didn't crash the car? You was on a scooter. I'm on a scooter. You was minding your business on a scooter. On a scooter. I'm thinking, I'm thinking no folk already following me. I was just riding down the street. No folk pulling in front of me trying to get behind me. I take out. So you had to go serve somebody else. Man, I'm doing all kind of plays on them motherfuckers. I'm thinking they watching me. Okay, so that's that ain't even you in the car. No. That ain't I'm you a running whole nother nigga. I'm a whole nother nigga. It's just you on the scooter. On a scooter. Okay, so tell me about what happened when the police seen you. What happened? Man, no folk got behind me. I thought they just seen me make them a play around the corner. I pulled straight off. I ain't stopping. Okay. And then how they pull up on you? What happened? Man, no folk pulled in front of me to my hey, stop. Get what I do. Hop straight on the curb, pull straight off on their ass. Hit the corner. Come, I, come, I come right here, flying pad they ass. Get the hell on on there. I hit the street right there, man. My damn back tie went flat. Trying to turn that motherfucker. I flipped out that bitch. I flipped out that bitch. I flipped out that motherfucker. They say put your hands up. Get what I did. Put my hands up. Nah, for real. Then, then they took you to jail. Hell yeah. All right, then, then you got out. Hell yeah. So what they charge you with? Man, fleeing and alone. Haven't gotten out all that, all that got down weed. Man, they got down charged me with everything they had on. What you had on? You had some weed on you? I had weed, guns. Man, I had all kind of shit on me. God damn. Crazy. The wrong nigga. Hey, shout out to Buddy Ass. You the reason, you the, you, I'm the reason your ass got away. Oh, she God. Got away. Shout out to Buddy, he got away. He got away? He got away. Damn, it's your fault he got away then. So they were on you and his ass got, got away. Who you with, my brother? I'm your cousin. Yeah. I seen the whole thing. You seen the whole thing? The whole, I seen niggas wreck the gutter car. Right oh, God, here. I seen niggas wreck the gutter car. Young bro, I'm back. Flop, 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 follow all you put it back on. Check out. Oh, God, I'm on my mom. Hold on, get out the street real quick. Get out the street real quick. Get out of the goddamn street, man! Get your ass up out the street, bro! God damn, bro, we trying to shoot some shit over here. You in the motherfucking street, bro. Come here, man. Come here, sir. Man, Teddy you your name, man. Hey, 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 look, um, hey, come on with me. Don't talk to you. Man, Teddy your name, y'all. Man, Teddy your name. They want to know who you Danielle. Where you from, Danielle? Slice no dice. Start talking about stabbing somebody, man. Oh shit. Yeah, man. So, damn, bro, that shit crazy here, yeah, man. So, where the school at now? Man, that motherfucker gone. Hey, Go away. Hey, got that motherfucker. I had a nigga finna give me 2500 for that motherfucker the same day. I'm trying to get the butt ass. I ain't stopping for that. Them folks got my shit, man. Get away. It's another one on the way, though. We ain't worried about that shit. Yeah, man, for real. Man, so tell them fuck where they can find you at, man, because I know you got some on the way. I know you finna market this shit, man. You got yeah, something yeah. going on. So tell them fuck where they can find you. You can market that shit? Hell yeah, you can market yeah, that yeah. shit. Just like get t-shirt and scooters on this shit. Man, shit, he just get him some shit that, you feel me? Him getting away on the shit, you feel whatever, you feel me? Scooter boy, scooter boy, scooter man, scooter man. We live right here in Oakland City with Scooter Man, man. Tell them fuck where the fuck you at, Scooter Man. Hey, man, follow me at Six O Trail, man, on Instagram, S-I-X-O-W-E-T-R-E-L-L, man. Nah, for real, right here, a little late.
Man, yeah. say no more, man. Oakland Tell them folk where to find man. you at, my brother. One man. little lady did done, man. Oakland City, we out here, man. Yeah, yeah come over here with them scooters. You're getting away. Stop with your flag. Nah, come for on, real, on, man. Hey, come hey on, man, we back uh, back to the studio, money bag and Bree, man. Run from the police? Run from the air, man. Fuck it. Okay. Well, thank you, Blake the Great, out, out there in these streets. Um, speaking of being in the streets, Invest Fest was this in the streets in Atlanta this weekend. They had so many speakers, including Steve Harvey, 50 Cent, Black Sam. Oh, did you see that Black Sam um, revealed a life-size wax figure yeah, of the late great Nancy Hilton? I uh -huh. liked it, but I kind of felt like his foot should have been down. Yeah, you got him propped up, but he was lean a little bit. Yeah, and then it looked yeah. kind of like he was, it was missing. Hard though, overall. It was, it was very like intricate. Like I don't, see, I don't know if you saw the video where they were like wolfing his beard hair in. It was like being stitched in like uh -huh. bitches lace fronts. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit, shit was fire. fire. It was fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they covered so many things at the Invest Fest, like financial literacy, crypto, real estate, planning, AI, all type. Who of things. Who else you think we need wax figure of people that died? Did we have one of two pop? I think um, it's everybody. Maybe Biggie. You, huh? They don't have one of Biggie. I, ain't, I don't think I've ever seen one of Biggie. Like a real one. Not at that Madame Tucson shit when the people be looking like they cousin. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they don't never look like the people for real. It always <laughs> look like somebody impersonating them. Yeah. That was, that was AI before AI. All right. Okay. Well. We having good news. You know, we got a, a lot of good news going on. So the Burger King employee never missed a day. In 27 years, he quit Burger King and opened up his own food truck. I feel like that's good news. Shout out to you for being an entrepreneur. For being, for taking you so fucking long, nigga. 27 <laughs> years? Fuck y'all clapping for. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm sure them 27 years granted him, like, much experience and knowledge on how to run a successful business. How to drop a fry. <laughs> shout out my butt now. Go yeah. And shout out. Shout out to now. That's good the news, though, man. Congratulations, man. For goddamn. It is. For taking half of your life to figure that out. Anyways, Kevin Ford also received a very small gift bag of appreciation from the Burger King Corporation for never missing a day of work. I don't know. How, that's the part that he really need to be clapped up for, because how the fuck you never miss a day of work in 27 years? We ain't got no picture of this nigga, man. I know he black. I think he was. We ain't got no picture. Nah. But you know all they gave that nigga was a movie ticket, a Starbucks cup, and candy and chocolate. <sighs> he ain't getting no Rolex or none of that. It's like, what the fuck? That's him right there. Look at this nigga, man. You just look like the food truck some bullshit, too. I ain't gonna hold you. What he selling? He in Atlanta? And I hate the name. Let me not say that. K-27-Y? Yeah. Nah. All right, man, we wish you the best of luck, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On your journey, real talk, black man. Uh, 27 years. But he actually, what's so crazy is he had a, raised a, uh, he had a GoFundMe and he received over $500,000. <sighs> That's wild. Um, well, if that wasn't good enough news for you, we got some upcoming tour dates. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that was it. That didn't Big do. business. Yeah. Go ahead. Let them know, Twin. Big business, man. We'll be in Jacksonville October 5th, and we're going to be in Miami on October 6th. Turn that motherfucker. <laughs> so bring your pussy ass out, dog. Slide, dog. Yeah. And then uh, Justin Whitehead, he will be... Cincinnati, well, Ohio, September 22nd. My boy Justin Whitehead, get the motherfucking ticket ASAP. We coming to tear that bitch down. My boy DC Young Fly will be in Hoover, Alabama, September 6th. Oh, and, and Atlanta, Atlanta, September 7th. Dang, that that's Atlanta the show with Drewski, ain't it? With Drewski. Yeah, that's gonna be lit. Big shout out to Drewski, man. Poor soul. Oh, Poor Soul is no. like a new thing with um, Poor Minds. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when they do a live music experience. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hosted by Nav Green and, uh, and, of course, the girls from Poor Minds. And it's going to be at the City Winery here in Atlanta on September 21st. So grab your tickets for that. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Whole vibe. Yes. Oh, and that. then guess what, what, what Twin? I got a new show with Jack Thriller that I'm going to be hosting at Uptown Comedy. Yeah. Yes, at October 10th is going to be here at Uptown, Uptown Comedy Corner, so grab your tickets. We'll give you the link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good you get around somebody that can see your potential. Shut up. <laughs> 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 okay, well, that is 
all the news we have for you tonight in the trap. I'm Bray Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy, Money Bad, Mr. Bitch. You know that pussy ain't worth no shark back. Order the tilapia. <laughs> Mr. Money Bad Mafia, the pussy ain't worth shark back. Order, Order some, some tilapia. tilapia. Okay. Bree? All right. I didn't have you you left the money bag mafia. Mafia part out. It's all yeah, good. They catch it in the they catch it in the first one. Okay. I just wanna make sure you oh, went slipping on your pimping. Oh yeah. Stream my new hit. <laughs> but channel five. But the mother news stations. We with channel 85. Trap news. Trap news. Trap news. Just a white head, nigga. I'll run up on a bitch too. See about me, channel 85. Yo, bitch. Bitch. I ain't mad, bitch. <laughs>